Hey guys, we're back playing Ogre Battle. Today we're gonna finish up stage, uh, like, technically it's 12. The Castle, or not Castle, uh, the, uh, Balmorian Ruins there. And we're gonna send Ash up to here. Ash, uh, in the ensuing time that it took to kill all the enemies, actually, his, uh, dragon got enough alignment and charisma to become a silver dragon, which is where I wanted to be, because he's gonna be awesome like that. They're, you know, everyone else is... Pretty much set there. You should have shaman lion. Lion, I'm contemplating turning into a samurai. So, okay, that was a short pause, interrupt for break. Sorry about that. And so we're gonna send lion up there, Ash and company up that way. Uh, they are gonna come. Uh, Elisa can come all the way up here. And who else is there? Uh, Warren's not a town liberator. Duran is not a town liberator. Is this Camila? Who didn't actually do anything, so she's going to get a lot of work in on the next stage. She's going to go over to. I think I just went by it. Yes. This city here. Um, and. Duran. Uh, I guess he's going to go be my treasure hunter today, because there's two treasures we can get. One is right here, and the other one is up to the left of the boss city. So yeah, hopefully all the enemies are gone. I'm pretty sure they did. I fast-forwarded a little after that kill to what I thought to be the last one, and nobody showed up, so unless they're hiding on the map somewhere, they're pretty much dead. I actually lost a little bit of money. Uh, like, please don't go over that town. Good. I actually lost a little bit of money when it turned to day because I had more... Uh, my units were had more value because of the levels they gained than... <laughs> I'd actually been able to get from the towns that I had liberated. Ooh, we get a Thunder Spear. Which is a pretty decent item, uh, if I remember correctly. Uh... And the other one is on this large landmass over there. Which I'm probably going to have to take like three tries to find because of the pixel perfectness that they want out of me. Um, Thunder, Thunder Spear, Strength Plus 9. See, just good items to get and have and use. Like, see, hopefully one of Camilla's knights doesn't have a, an item. And now, for Malachite. He's got a broken sword. Okay, so uh, let's look at uh, someone who I don't have. I ordered Bison, Sigmund, uh, Euros, Dragon, Dragon Spear, Dragon Spear, Death Sword. Wow, a lot of people just have items. Mountain, Douglas is a Black Knight. Let's give it to Asar, the, uh, the Hellhound there. Which I may end up taking the Hellhound out for another uh, type of monster for them. There we go, Thunder Spear. See, by the end of the game, even though you get a lot of crappy items, you tend to get good stuff eventually. Wait one second, I have to look Dogs have to be in the room to record with me for some strange reason, just to make noise. And here, sit down. Stop being black. Next. Yeah, we get a full card, which is precisely what I wanted, because it's going to help out immensely against this boss. I believe that was the ruler, huh? 100 years old? Huh. Must be some kind of sorcery. Now that you're. Oh, yeah, this is the shop. Uh, nothing spectacular. You can buy all heals again, which I'm going to get, I think, ten more. Because I'm not running out of them. I just like to, you know, have more than I need. You know, what's that saying? Better to uh, have it and not need it than need it and not have it. All right, now you can go over here and get this temple. Yeah, there's a lot of towns that Camilla's gonna have to go for. Make sure she's a good, decent alignment. 
All right, there's a uh, Ash there. He's gonna get a Sun card, which is going to hopefully not screw me over. Denuve, another kingdom. Balmoa Castle was its capital. And of course, as pretty much everything. Ooh, I got some. Yeah, I had to get some money back. Pretty much everything that the Empire touches turned to crap. Um. I want Ash to come down here and get this treasure before going back into the base to remove his cost from my deployment list, because I really don't need him out here anymore. We need a Roshian Temple. Yeah, Cherry Card, woo! I always like, you know, the good plus two carrot cards, as well as the attack cards, because they help out. Halfway, huh? Well, let's go... Let's go get Kal... Uh, Kal... Kal... Yao? Is that what it's called? It's right about there, at the end of the road. Generally, if you see a road that just ends, nine times out of ten, there's a town there. And... You know, that... Yeah, just there's a town there. And usually, hidden towns have something interesting, whether it be an item to gain, uh, some kind of side quest to do during the stage, some kind of, some kind of side quest to do after the stage, uh, some, just some NPC to talk to. Yay, Hermit! Which is good for this unit, because it has two Valkyries, and I, they need intelligence to use their Thunder Spells. Statue of Serena. No. Oh. Okay, well, I mean, I don't know how much that helps, but, you know, if that's how you want it, then fine. Who, who am I to argue? We're gonna go up to Juan Cal there. There's also a treasure up here. Alright, there's Cal Yao. I should send Kenopus out here, because he's a low sky. He's a flying unit to liberate all these towns, but. Oh. Tower is quite possibly the one of the worst cards to draw because it drops the alignment of the entire unit by two. And alignment is uh, reputation, while you know it sucks to go, oh my reputation went down. Oh, he was talking about something. Some I think it was the Sky Island or Shangri La, one of the two. Or just some item that I will end up getting as because of the the quote-unquote holiness of this playthrough. Alright, again, he didn't find it, but I know it's here. Nothing? It's here, I know it. He's trying to speak to me. Come on. I know there's one here, game. Don't try to tell me that there isn't. Oh. If this were the PlayStation version, I would have him basically do a crisscross of a walking pattern up the up and down the island. Because on the PlayStation version, you can actually set multiple destinations. Like if you want to stop somewhere and liberate a town and then continue on with your... There we go. And then continue on with your movement, you can. This game didn't have that yet. We get an Elder Necklace. Okay. You need to actually come back. Because Durin is going to fight the boss. But I'm going to put in, uh, swap in the optional character that I'm going to get in this stage. With, uh, or sw swap him into that unit. So, yeah, that'll work. Okay, we got your temple way down in the corner. Come on, guys. I'm the good. No whammy. Yeah, yeah, first. Uh, I think that's a charisma card. Yep. Uh, I will keep those, even though I don't really use those often. Halfway between here and Shikami. 
Actually, um, to save myself some time, I'm gonna use boots. And you can't boots anybody to a temple, which is the if thing. But you can boots them to town, so I'm gonna put her back up here. There we go. Okay. And yeah, she just has to wait for the she's finished moving dialogue, and then we can go over here. Start the long list of towns that we have to liberate. Please do not get that on your way by. Okay, there's, uh, Ash found his hidden treasure, which is a nice charm. Probably nothing spectacular there, but he can get off the map now. Let's actually check those two treasures while we're at it. Uh, Elder thing. Strength 11, Intelligence plus 5, awesome. And an Ice Charm, Ice plus 5. So, like, what you do is you go to that, and you go to sell, and you sell, like, this crap. And it's like, hey, yeah. Then it's just worth money. But the Elder thing, um, I'm gonna hold on to for right now. Actually, who in here does not have a knife? You have a Ice Blade, you have a Kukai, do you have something? No, he does not. So, Lion going to get the, uh, I, no. Lion is going to get the Elder Pendant. Ba basically, when, uh, when items have, you know, two types of bonuses, like strength and intelligence, uh, generally, because there, there are much better intelligence boosting items, as well as, uh, you know, Strength for a lot of times is far more important than intelligence. Because, uh, you know, a lot of the enemy a lot of the enemies that you face mostly are physical. And that is a uh Well you face a lot more Bell of Light, huh? The city of Calgao. Oh, hmm. Interesting. True hero, huh? Well, I do have the Hero Star, and the Key of Destiny, and the Quicksilver. Those are all items that prove I'm heroic. What you have to do is deploy... You don't have to deploy yourself, you're already deployed. But you have to get yourself, your unit, over to Cal Yao. Because they want to show you, specifically. You over there, and he's like, Hey, you have the Star of Heroes. And he gives you the Bell of Light. Star Stone back to flesh. Now, they don't tell you why they want you to have it, other than the fact that, you know, like, you're a hero, take this. But there's a very good reason for actually having that, and we'll learn about that pretty soon. Back in my post over here. That's why I buy a lot of uh, Seven League boots, is because there's a lot of times where you, as a leader, need to be somewhere, and then, you know, you don't want to... You basically boots over there, and then boots back, and you get the what you want without actually having to leave the town undefended. And we found a buried treasure. That is... A nice blade, alright. Some decent... More decent equipment there, is Oh, Smith does not, and... Yeah, so we're going to give Smith that Ice Blade. As soon as fact, he found it. It's the same thing that Ash is using, so it's not too overly strong. But, I mean, it's something. He put something on the guy. 102 strength. 109. So he's 7 strength, changes his attack to Ice Elemental, which is, isn't, is you know, a game-breaker. Because a lot, of, a lot of people are actually weak to Ice Elemental that you wouldn't think are. Go down to this town here. Uh, Alright, well. Liberated Ayak Cho. And we get, for our efforts, a Temperance card. Yay! Which will boost their alignment back. Or, that's a reputation card. Never mind. Um, yes, I used mine. Uh, yeah, I would like to use the Bell Light on it. No, so it's actually a statue. 
which it actually is kind of um, you kind of lose out on some of the NPC flavor text because of that thing. Because like the people in the town won't say what they normally say because you're trying to you know turn a statue, which there are plenty of. I mean, every town has one. Remember that. But you lose out on some flavor text. They just talk about Albaleo being, you know, Rashid's apprentice, and he's kind of a dick, and no one likes him. And he somehow finds a way to stay young in the most turbulent times, and he lives like a king, and everyone else around him suffers. That kind of stuff. You know, really setting up the stage boss to be a douche. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know why this town doesn't have one, because, I mean, they said every town has one, yet there's that one that doesn't? I don't understand. But, yeah. So, as you can tell, our purpose seems to be using that bell of light on all these statues, even though we really have no idea why we're doing so. Uh, if you're going to take forever to go through the ocean, I'm just going to move you over... Here, I may end up having to go back to uh, the Castellation Sea and buying some more. Oh, here we go. Okay, yeah, you can check old towns. I don't. I think we have not. I, I'm pretty sure we haven't liberated the town that actually we need. So, you know, I'm not too worried about that. Does Thurin ever make it back? No, neither one of them made it back yet. Oh, that's a huge map. So you think about it, oh, Camila's been frickin' crisscrossing the map and liberating towns. Yes, Ash, you're on the base. And we get Ch Chinachalada. I don't know what the hell. Uh, sure, we'll draw a card. Lovers, yay! I just got two reputation up two cards. Well, I max reputation. I do. Nothing, huh? Alright. Um, I guess you can go over here. We'll see which one of you gets there first. In fact, you have a head start. But you are walking across more water. Uh, yes, Durin needs to return to base, because I need him to... <clears throat> Uh, we liberated Kanyate, or Kanyate, I don't know. Place towns have weird names. Oh, Sun, thanks. <laughs> Put it right back at midday. Predators of the Genius Sculptor Bacchus. Yeah, here is how you know. Because one of these is turned to stone. And that, that's how the, uh... That's how, uh, look at that money boost. That's how, uh, you're supposed to know. Wait, it might be... Um... So it looks like we did liberate the town already. It might be this one up here. Or not. Uh, yeah, where the hell is it? Gonna have, yeah, I'm probably going to have to use or go through and get more boots after this. Okay, it's not that one either. This one? Wow. How is it? I know it's here. Maybe it's at that temple. Is it this time? I'm not afraid of Warren checking, because, well, he can. It doesn't matter if you stay on the town being a low alignment douche, as long as you're not, you don't liberate it. It can't be in the same town where we got the Bell of Light, is it? No, that would be preposterous. 
need to wait for her to get up there. This episode's taking too long! Alright, well, if it's not at this temple here, I'm gonna cut until I do find it. And basically by that, I'll just have Warren fly all over the map. Okay, come on. Let's give it to me. Give it to me good. Yay, strength! I'll take it. Well, not the card, but I'll take the bonus. I found the item, too. King Helmet. Another one. That's like my third one. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Get it? Yes! There he is! 20 years, huh? Saradin, the wizard. Yeah. I guess this is how you're supposed to figure out. Uh... Yes, you can certainly join us. He, despite the fact that he is quite a... Uh, because he's a, you know, a mage. He's a low, quote-unquote, a low alignment character. He is actually necessary to complete the high alignment game. And he comes with two lame golems that suck that no one will use. We're just going to take him out of this unit entirely. We're going to remove, probably permanently, remove uh, this this style mage from unit or from uh, that unit and add Saradin in there. The reason being. Um, is that I'm going to save that Dalmage Mage on the sideline until he actually gets, uh, to a level where he's low enough to enter another unit and thus gain the alignment back that he needs. <clears throat> yeah, gain the, yeah, gain the alignment back that he needs to turn into a Dalmaster Master, because he needs to be between 50 and 80, and he's at 20, so he's, like, terrible. Saradin. Oh, I can't change. Well, I'll change leader. Alright. Now, I can redeploy Saradin as part of my new overpowered uh, unit there. And since he's low alignment unit, the fact that it's going to turn into Knight isn't going to bother him when he goes to fight the boss, who he has to to complete the low, the high alignment portion of the game. There's a lot of requirements for this. I mean, Frickin' stages need certain characters. We're dropping frames again. Alright, Saradin. Go get his ass. Alright. It's time to finish this and let this long ass the trail of his I told you the stages were gonna become longer. And that's why I like doing these episodes on Friday and Saturday, because, like, they're longer and, you know, a lot of people don't have things to do the next day. So, you know, you can use them at your will. Well, yeah, I mean... Re oh, you reincarnated? Hey, he's only a hundred years old. How many times did he need to be reincarnated? Ultimate power? Yeah, okay. Once, you know, you could be... You could say, like, Oh, uh, ultimate power, we can surpass the gods. It's like, how do you know? I mean, the gods are, like, omnipotent. Your ultimate power could be nothing compared to their limitless power. But what we want to do is we want to use the full card to get rid of his uh, help there, because... Albaleo is a Dom Master, or Enchanter, whichever... Translate. If you're playing the uh, PlayStation version, he's an enchanter, and he does a crap ton of damage. Fortunately, he you know he doesn't have a lot of defense, so he takes a lot back. Actually, he apparently does have a lot of defense. Hopefully, we can kill him. Yeah, there you go. Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. Hurry, we're over level. And we have liberated Balmoa. And I guess that's technically the capital of the country of Danube. I mean, that country will like never be mentioned again. 
unless they say, well, this, unless uh, some random NPC also says, you know, this uh, land is also part of what was the Nuve, but I don't know, I don't recall ever seeing that again. We didn't get a lot of money for that stage because, uh, you know, we spent several days there. But, um, yeah. So, our next objective, we're gonna keep skipping Calby because we need to get to stage 15 before we can go back there. But our next objective is stage 13, the Valley of Castro, which we shall do next time, where we also will get a fine addition to our army, as well as, uh start seeing some new class upgrades next time on Let's Play Ogre Battle. So let everybody thank you so much for watching. Thanks for putting up with these marathon videos. I know it's not as bad as Bahamut Lagoon, but, you know, it's still pretty much more than I actually want. But, you know, thanks for all your support, everybody, and have a good night.